Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Greg Cock here doing a little gear overview for you for our friends at Fishman. Diggity dog on it. We just got done doing a sound check here at Jimmy's Jazz and Blues in beautiful Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Let's take a look at my pedal board first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen. What do we have here? Well, we got my tuner here. It's a Sonic Research Turbo Tuner ST300. It's a good one. It works like a thousand million dollars. That's not a real amount. Then we've got this, the Mighty Jam Waco pedal. I have, uh, which is my personal favorite wah, currently the straight up 12 o'clock setting on the old uh, potentiometer is what I'm going with. Uh, we've got the Jam Pedals Retro Vibe, which is a delicious uh, Univibe type effect. Then we have the Boss DD3. I keep it on a kind of a longer delay setting. I barely have it on. I just like a little bit of a trail. But this little rascal right here is our Delay Llama from Jam Pedals. I run it with a little slap back. I usually have that on all the time, but occasionally I want to do a spacey echo. So then I'll go over here and hit this first preset, which makes it kind of vibrato infused, the longer delay, it gets all crazy. And then when I want to get out of that, I just kind of scroll through and then I'm back to my slap back. Uh, over here we have my Gristle King that has been my chosen Clean boost and overdrive for years on end. My buddy Tim Yarnig designed that for me many years ago. Fishman is currently making this particular iteration. It's a clean boost over here, overdrive over here. I can make the clean boost be either pre or post gain. These are two little voicing switches, which are humorously called flavor and fat. We've got gristle, tone, and gravy for our controls, which is basically a gain, tone, and volume. I've been using this little Timmy pedal from MXR. My buddy Brian Kehoe set me up with this one. Just a kind of just a slight, um, slightly grungy overdrive that I use when I just want a little push over the edge. A lot of times I'll run the clean boost with this just to get kind of a cleaner gain. Or sometimes I'll have clean boost, gain on Gristle King, hit this to take it over the top and it's the end of the world. Uh, every now and again I like to hit the phase 95. Um, which is just a glorious phaser that uh, is old school. I want to get my kind of Eric Gale, uh, Cornell Dupree vibe going. I'll hit that. Uh, mini vent. I've been using various iterations of the um, ventilator for quite some years, for quite a few years now from Neo Instruments. It's a German company. Right now I'm using the mini vent. It takes a smaller uh, amount of space on the old uh, pedal board. It basically uh, is a great Leslie simulator. There are two presets and uh, I go from fast and slow, on and off. It's glorious. Now this is the foot switch for my uh, caulk amplifier, the Greg. Uh, many is the days that I've just used this and nothing else. But occasionally what I'll do is I'll hit the harmonic vibrato uh, on the amplifier, which now that I'm running two amps, gives me the illusion of being in stereo when I hit that thing, because it's just going to one side. I am going in stereo when I hit this, so I've got two cables coming out. Let's go back and look at that. Someone farted. Uh, this is my caulk amplifier, the Greg. Um, clean channel, overdrive channel. There's an overdrive boost on there. On the top of it, you see more controls. This is the OTS feature, which has a gain and a volume. If I just want a slightly more boost thing on either the clean channel or the overdrive channel, I can have it. Three button harmonic vibrato or tremolo with a level, which is very handy. Three control reverb, presence control, and a master volume. I'm running the amp pretty clean when I'm running this current rig. Although, as I said, many of the time I just use a cord into that amp and away we go. I've been using this little Marshall. It is an SV20. It's a 25, 25 watt plexi basically with two 12s. Um, and I run these about the same volume. And in this place, I'm not running them real hot. Last night I did not run them real hot either, but I push them over the top with the Gristle King pedal and it sounds glorious. Uh, guitars, of course, I've got my Reverend Gristlemaster signature guitars with my Fishman Fluence uh, Gristle Tone Tele pickups. Uh, I've got the new Orchid Pink. And then of course, these they have a popular Cockwork Orange. Uh, I also have uh, one of my Gristle 90 guitars from Reverend, another signature instrument. And this has the Fishman Fluence Gristle Tone P90 pickups on board. Currently I have this tuned to open G. I do my open G slide stuff on this guitar. I've been primarily playing the more tele oriented one. Just, I, I go in phases. Usually I do half and half, but lately I've just been doing that. I also have my Wildwood Spec R8 guitar that I just had outfitted with Fishman Fluence 
classic humbuckers, which I have this as my voice control. I go between the two voices there. I have this as my out of phase, which I can adjust the amount of phase I want on there. And, if that's a thing, and uh, this is the third voice, which is a coil tap. Uh, and that's pretty much it, folks. That's my rig. I've been using these uh, Jim Dunlap slides, which is basically their version of the Coracedon bottle. And my picks of choice are uh, these Dunlap Primetone 3 1.4 millimeter picks, which are my current faves. There you have it, folks. There you, I'm, I'm, as far as straps are concerned, I use Holy Cow straps from the Netherlands. Those are my favorite. I have that on this, on that one. Uh, and then I have some other couple of hippie straps that I like to use. But uh, those Holy Cow straps are my fave. Can you dig it? Gregory Crockery here for listening to Dining Pleasure. We'll see you guys later.